cases, your your uh, uh, data values may uh, vary. So we need to uh, standardize or normalize the data values. Okay. So we need to use standard scalar method. The standard scalar is a processing technique in machine learning that used to standardize or normalize the futures of a data set. It scales the futures so that they have a mean of zero and a standard deviation of one. This transformation is applied independently to each futures, making the mean of each future zero and the variance is one. Standardization is also sometimes referred to as z-score normalization. So here, how standardization or standard scalar works and why it is used for. The first one is means centering. It just subtracts the mean or the average values of the future from each data point. This is a step ensures that the transformed uh, data has a mean of zero and scaling. A scaling uh, just divides each data point by the standard mm -hmm. division. By the standard division of the future, this step uh, ensures that uh, the data point uh, has a standard division of one. So this is the formula that going to standardize our data points. So x standard uh, uh, equals x minus, that is uh, the mean divided by the variance or standard deviation. So x standard represents the standard value of each data point and x is the, a data point from the future. And uh, this represents the mean of the future. And this one is the standard deviation of the future. So it's going to just standardize your data point is that is good to train your model. Finally, you need to scale the numerical features. You can use the standard scalar uh, class from the Cycdrill library. Okay, now I can just create a class standard scalar from Cycdrill preprocessing module and I can create X tree because uh, I'm gonna try uh, tra standardize the training and testing set of the data. X train is scalar dot t transform that's going to t uh, learn the mapping and apply the mapping at the same time and pass X train. And the other is X test. Okay, that's good. Now I can run this code and I can now check the values of X train. For example, the first five values, let me check. The standard that is, uh, is this one. It is not that much greater than one and uh, less than zero, okay? So it is a standard base, uh, that's good to standardize your uh, data. Okay, I have now finished the uh, preparation, data preparation steps, and the next step is uh, training the model.